going? In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to sew this tank top with the open back slit and the trim along the bottom. I made this one with a stretch fabric, but I've made another version with a non-stretch fabric, so you can choose whatever fabric you'd like. The only difference if you do choose a non-stretch is that you'll need to cut it a bit bigger so that you can get it on and off over your head easily since the fabric doesn't stretch. And I also used bias tape around the neckline and armholes of the non-stretch version just to add a nice detail and to make it easier to hem. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you do, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let's get sewing! In this tutorial, I used about a yard of stretch fabric, and although I do include some tips for the non-stretch version, there are a few differences, so read the description box if you want to use non-stretch fabric, because I include more details on how I made it there. I used an extremely lightweight, stretchy fabric, the kind that you can easily see through when it's stretched at all, and I do want to warn you that super lightweight knit fabrics like this can be harder to work with, so I recommend getting a stretch knit that isn't so light because this top is easy to make with the right knit fabric. You'll also need at least one and a half yards of a non-stretch trim or fringe if you want to add trim. And finally, you'll need a tank top to use as a template. If you're using non-stretch fabric, use a loose-fitting tank top you can get on and off easily since the non-stretch version needs to fit loosely. To begin, I wanted my new top to be shorter than my template, so I folded a few inches up to the length I wanted, although if you're happy with the length, skip that step. Then fold it in half down the center, and this is our pattern. Fold a section of fabric over, making sure it stretches the most in the direction the arrows are going if you're using stretch fabric. Lay the tank top onto the fold, Pin it down, and if it has a high neckline, lower it some. Cut a half inch larger around all sides of the tank top to add hem and seam allowance, although when I cut the non-stretch version, along with using a loose tank top, I angled my cutting to get a few inches wider along the side to give it that loose, flowy silhouette it needs. When you remove the tank top and unfold your fabric, you'll have the front piece cut out, and make sure your neckline is cut nice and rounded. To cut the back, fold this front piece in half, fold another portion of fabric over, and place the front so it's spaced a half inch away from the fold of the fabric. Pin it down and cut along the shape of the tank top, cutting right across those half inch gaps. Remove the front piece and cut along the center fold of the back to divide it into two separate pieces. Lay them with the correct sides together and begin pinning starting at the top, but pin only until you want the opening on the back to start. I pinned about 6 inches and left the bottom 11 inches open. Sew the pinned portion using a half inch seam allowance for all the seams. For non-stretch fabric, sew everything with a straight stitch. For stretch fabric, use a ballpoint needle and sew everything with either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch, which will allow the seams to stretch without breaking. Open up and lay this piece with the wrong side facing up. To hem the slit, I've zoomed in and turned it on its side and moved one side out of the way. Starting where the opening begins, fold the raw edge of fabric over about a quarter inch, then fold it again another quarter inch and pin it down. Continue double folding all the way down to the bottom edge. Sew the hem down, and usually when I'm not using such lightweight knits, I don't have a problem, but because my fabric was so light, I had trouble with the hems looking wavy. One thing that's helped me hem light fabrics is instead of sewing with the fold facing up like I usually do, I flip it over so the fold is facing down and then sew, and for some reason it's less wavy. 
Try a few different types and sizes of stretch and zigzag stitches on a scrap of your fabric to see what works best, and if you still have trouble, I've listed a few other ideas on screen. It also helped to press the hem with an iron, and although it's still a little wavy, the trim on the bottom winds up weighing the fabric down enough that you can't see the waves on the final top. Then double fold, pin, and sew to hem the other side the same way. Lay the back and front pieces with the correct sides together. When I made the non-stretch version, I added the bias tape at this point, and I've explained the order I did that in the description box. For stretch fabric, pin and sew the shoulders and sides. To hem the neckline, turn it inside out and double fold the fabric a quarter inch at a time, pinning it down often. To help it lay flat around the curves, smooth out the fabric with your finger as you go. I used bias tape instead of hemming the non-stretch version this way because it's really hard to fold a non-stretch fabric around curves, whereas it's really easy with a stretch fabric. When the whole neckline is pinned, sew the hem down, taking your time as you go around the curves. Double fold and sew to hem the armholes the same way. At this point, I decided to trim my top a little shorter, leaving a half inch extra for seam allowance, and since I just cut the back stitching off, I sewed over the end of the seams and hems again to secure the stitches. If you don't want trim, double fold to hem the bottom edge, and if you're adding trim, turn the top right side out. My trim had a large unfinished edge, so I sewed a row of zigzag stitches to prevent it from fraying. Lay the trim or fringe upside down, starting at the opening on the back, so its top edge is lined up along the bottom of the tank top. Pin it down. Then line up the next section of trim and pin every couple of inches around the entire bottom edge of the tank top. It's important to pin frequently so you know you have the correct amount of trim measured out. To be on the safe side, you can leave a couple inches of extra trim hanging off and trim it to size after sewing it on, but if you're positive you have the right amount measured out, cut the edge so it lines up with the opening. If needed, sew zigzag stitches along the edge of the trim to prevent fraying and pin it down. Sew to attach the trim, and I used the natural break in the pattern to determine my seam allowance. Since we're using non-stretch trim, sew with a straight stitch. Flip the trim down so it hangs below the top, tucking the seam allowance behind the tank top so it's not visible. Sew with a straight stitch just above the seam to secure that seam allowance to the back of the top, which helps the trim hang more neatly. When you're done, your tank top is ready to wear. I've been loving mine over my bathing suit. Thank y'all for watching. Those bugs are loud. This exact same tote. Look, to what? I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh.